Well, I haven't been able to get a skid steer out here to pick that up. I was actually thinking about getting the excursion and the truck, hooking onto it and see if I can pull it all at once. Right now though, we need to feed the buffalo. It's time to sharpen my knife. It's a little too dull. like they're doing a lot better now. Well, 
they should be good. We've got a line that leaks on this tractor. Need to replace that. The gas leaks a little bit. But the bison should be good for another week, week and a half. Um, I think I'm gonna try tackling this shipping container. We'll see. Don't know. Maybe uh, fourth time's the charm, right? Uh, I misplaced a chain. I need to go up front and see if I can find one of my chains because I'm gonna need three chains for this. We went ahead and cut the fence over here. So we've got a direct access to that barn now. There's the chain. I knew I left it over here. Thought I left it last time I drug that tire. Couldn't find it because it all snowed. I think I want to turn that off before I climb over there. I'm gonna take and get one side of that shipping container onto the truck, which has good four wheel drive. I'm gonna take and get the other side to the excursion, which has a lot of weight, but the uh, four wheel drive is not working right now. So we'll see what happens. I might even take and get that tractor on there too. So wish me luck. Trying to figure out the best way to hook onto this thing. Problem is the underside of it has these ribs that catch on the ground. I think that's the biggest reason why I can't move it by just dragging it. So, um, yeah, I don't know the best way. I think we're just gonna maybe try one corner and then uh, scoot it to one point and then we can maybe slide it all the way over. This excursion has not had four wheel drive for the last, I would say probably year. Uh, and I have not fixed it because it does so good by itself in two wheel drive. Has no issue with snow and a lot of times with mud too. It's got pretty good uh, knobby tires on it. But in cases like this, I wish I hadn't procrastinated and fixed the four wheel drive. Okay, we're gonna try one more thing. We're gonna try to pull it that way. If it won't pull, we'll call it a day. It moved over a little bit, but as soon as the truck started spinning out, it stopped. It's just uh, digging into the ground. So we'll see if it'll slide this way a little bit better. Otherwise, we'll wait till the skid steer gets out here.
tell that's defeating. It started to pull going sideways, just pulling one corner. And then once the truck started spinning, uh, it was a no-go. The uh, excursion actually wasn't even spinning. It's got so much traction. Um, but then once we started going this way, it was just, there's no um, pulling it. It's too heavy. And uh, it's not even stuck in the mud or anything. It's just too darn heavy. Uh, we'll get a skid steer out here and we'll go ahead and move it. I think I'm going to give up moving it this way. What are you doing? What do they call that? Is that determination or is that pure stubbornness? One way or another, I think I've got both. We've got this fence cut out now, so we can just drive straight across the field. Eventually, we will put a gravel driveway across here, but for now, it's a lot better than going down a half mile drive, a quarter mile, on the road and then a half mile drive back down just to get to this barn. You can see everything is laid out here and throughout the barn, all for getting ready for this auction. They have it all labeled in piles, 55, 56, Everything is labeled in piles. So I think what they're doing is they're bidding on this online. So you win the bid, you get that pile, uh, whether it's uh, a pallet or whether it's a um, thing of lumber, whatever they want to do with it. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Skillets, dressers, old GMC truck parts, doors, you name it, just gobs and gobs of stuff. Some good, some not so good. This beehive, I talked to Philip about. I wanted to see if he would leave them for me, but he said there is a different owner on this. He said that he let him know about uh, him leaving here. So he said that he's probably gonna come get him. Hopefully he doesn't because I want those. Uh, we were actually planning on getting some honeybees this spring. So it would be nice to have an existing hive and then we can just either move it or we can stack onto it and start getting good honey this summer. One of the bees just smacked me on the head. That's what they do when they warn you to get out of there before they sting you. I think I'll leave. Well, it's basically hurry up and wait. Uh, we've been doing other projects that have not been pertaining to the ranch, um, but right now it's just been waiting for the oil field pipe and then uh, this barn to get cleaned out. We've got a bunch of projects planned once we get this uh, barn cleaned out and once we get oiled filled pipe, but as of right now, I can't do anything with it. So we've been doing uh, some other things like building some cabinets for Heidi and different things like that, but nothing Buffalo related, unfortunately. Sometimes it's like that though. Uh, you don't always get your way and you don't always get to do the projects you want to do. So, uh, we do the projects that we can while we have those resources. So, got a few things done today. Not what I wanted to do though. We'll see you guys next time.